All right, more nep nep. We're gonna nep your face and Neptunia. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's that's a title for sure. Anyways, let me go to my Twitch while I load up the game. So we gotta find the key fragments, whatever that means. So, yeah, in a surprise twist, we're actually in Leanbox first. I did not know you go to Leanbox first. That's kind of weird to me. I'm used to going to Last Station first. Although I think it's different in Neptunia Rebirth 3 or Victory. I think in Victory you go to Louis first? No, that can't be right. I actually don't remember. It's been a while since I've played Rebirth 3. But yeah. Do they have anything good in the shop here? Um, no, not really. I like how these these caps, they don't do anything. They're just there for, for show. Anyways, um... Nearby lands. Oh, nice. Nice, uh, nice images of the worlds, by the way. <laughs> Basilicom Revolution. The party arrives in Last Station and heads to Basilicom to obtain information on the locations of powerful monsters. How are once there? <laughs> Louise, a calm covered in entirely... A calm land covered entirely in a blanket of white. The people of Louis have unwavering faith in their goddess of protection. So, like, am I supposed to be doing something with all of this? I don't know. <laughs> Nightmare. While visiting Leanbox, Neptune has a dream about Istwar. Who is Istwar speaking with in this dream? Istwar? I, I don't know. Istwar? Did you truly take a goddess down to the world below? <laughs> How dare you? Okay, R4 is here, here, I guess. You away. Tell me everything you've told her this very instant. I do not possess enough power to even call out to someone in Celestia. You should be aware of that the most. I did not take her down. She chose to fall of her own volition. She wishes to level justice against your crimes. Well, I mean, this is a dream, so it's it's fine. <laughs> it's against Celestial Province for a CPU to directly interfere with the human world for no valid reason. Unless it's a scheduled inspection or an accidental fall, such insolence is unacceptable. Each of them possess only a quarter the power of an actual goddess. They couldn't possibly travel down without your aid. I mean, yeah, I kind of for... Well, hang on. Isn't it, like, Noir, Blonde, and Furt that send Neptune down? Or am I misremembering that? No, that is incorrect. If something existed that led them to go there without my aid, it was destiny. Something beyond even my control. No, there's nothing beyond no. your control. <laughs> you are the world's... the world's everything! It is true this tome contains Ooh, everything in this reality. Nice music. But it does not stand to reason I have free reign over it all. Isn't this, um... Isn't this Louise theme? I think so. It matters not whether you are human or CPU. Not a soul exists able to control everything in their lives. You may have a point. You're the most difficult variable to control of all. D but then again, you're meant to be different. I mean, I do love me some Isti. You've the power to change this world, and I've the desire to do so. You do know what I'm thinking of, don't you? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know somebody's intentions to act. I know only what has occurred in the past. Yeah, yeah. With that attitude, you'll never understand. <laughs> which is fine by me. There's no need for you to feel as I do, because you are different. This will all end. Are you sure this is just a dream? When the curtain falls on this world after its final act, this nonsensical opera shall finally end. <laughs> no! <laughs> it can't end this world's opera! <laughs> Ouchies! 
Oh. Huh? We're just in a bed. Dream. I heard Isti's voice though. Oh, what a weird dream. Curtains falling and worlds ending. I don't think Neptune has that dream in the remake. Too energetic for this early in the morning. Hiya, good morning. Sorry for waking you up. Why are you sleeping here anyway? I thought you were bunking with Iffy. Iffy's very sensitive to noise, and she kicked me out. <laughs> she kicked me out. Snore like a grandpa, so I had to leave. Oh, there's there's another grandpa reference. Uh, anyway, let's tidy up and get some breakfast. Iffy won't be happy if she has to wait for her toast. Ugh, but I don't feel rested at all. I don't want to do anything. He gets Compa. <laughs> your hair. It's so fluffy. Wow, that's exactly the kind of conversation we need right now. <laughs> nap, nap. Oh. <laughs> Please don't block me from behind like that. It's like the sixteenth time. Oh, you smell like such a girly girl too. <laughs> I So Neptune likes Kampa's hair. <laughs> That's no good. If he will be upset at us. <laughs> Please, I'm not a body pillow for you to cuddle with. I'm not a body pillow. Did did, did body pillows exist back in 2010? They probably did. But you feel so cozy when I squeeze you. <laughs> I could sleep like this anytime, anywhere. This is probably really bad without context. You're both awake? Sorry for kicking you out, Kampa. We can try again tomorrow. What the hell is this perverted crap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just the end of the cutscene? Wow. So the cutscene ends with Iffy walking in on them. Great. Alright, the Archbishop and the Evangelist? What the fuck? Following Eastar's advice that the key fragments are guarded by powerful monsters, the party first heads to Leanbox's Basilicom. Okay, all, all 17 times, guys. We gotta talk to the Basilicom people about monsters, right? In that case, yo! Yo! Anyone know where strong monsters are nesting? Eh? Um... What do you girls want from Leanbox's Basilicom? You're not from this landmass, are you? Ah, oh, I remember her. Whoa, a deductive genius. How'd you know we're not from here? Do we totally stand out? Oh no, it's not that. I just transferred from somewhere else too. So I felt a sort of connection with you all. That's it. I'm an evangelist from the Wii. My name is Conversacion. I travel yeah, <laughs> her name's like French. I am meant to spread faith and love for Lady Whiteheart throughout the world. Anyway, what did you need here? Lady Whiteheart? I think you're in the wrong place. <laughs> I gotta find a place with strong baddies so I can get a key fragment. Don't worry, we'll beat them all up real good. Uh, key fragment. I see. Unfortunately, I've never heard of such a thing. There's no need to bother an evangelist. I will explain if you need something from our basilica. This, this music does not fit this scene at all. I am Ivoire, the Archbishop of Leanbox's Sanctuary. Oh. How can I assist you girls? That's a cool word, Archbishop. <laughs> yes, well, we'd like to know where to find monsters. Oh, and there, there comes the Planet Tune song again. I see. You're tourists, then. Let me give you a detailed map where the monsters are so you can avoid them. Stay away from the marked territories. We wouldn't want such adorable girls getting hurt. Have a safe trip. Alright, so in that case, that's where we're gonna go. <laughs> Great, good to know. He's like, here, he's like, here's where you want to stay away from. And then Nep Nep's like, alright, time to go there. <laughs> Is there anything new in the shop? No. Alright, um... Planet PR Brief. Greenheart's blog is updated. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Dragon with a blue shadow. 
my shadow has turned into a dragon. It's going out of control and destroying towns. Oh, great. And the level 500. Uh, I guess I could read the blog. Here's, uh, Vert's blog. Today I'd like to chat about the various accommodations Leanbox offers. Oh, okay, it's just- she's just telling us straight- okay. I'm sure you all know, but the CPU of Leanbox is me, Greenheart. Leanbox is a land abundant with nature. The most beautiful in all game industry. I believe the word draconian dis- no, arca- oh! Medieval describes Leanbox best. Well, here, here's, uh, here's Aaron's waifu. <laughs> here you can expect a comfortable life. Many come here to spend their retirement or raise children. I highly suggest coming to Leanbox, especially if you have enough money to live a rich and comfortable life. That's the basic rundown of my land. I'll go into more detail with my upcoming blog entries. Ah, uh, hell yeah, it converts blogs. I'll see you again in the next update. What a, what a great feature. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, when Nepu alarm clock going in, her booba is going through the text. I know, crazy, right? And I don't know why my fucking chat box does not want to load on Twitch. They're just so stupid, man. It doesn't load chat half the damn time. I swear, if I gotta reload chat one more time, I'm gonna be mad. So this is kind. I think this is like one of the shittier aspects of Neptunia, is this lands thing. So you can't just go to a place, wait for approach. I don't know how that works, but you have to wait for the lands to approach each other to even go to them at all. I forget how that works. I don't know. We could go to a dungeon. Uh, first I need to save, though. Like, always save before going into a dungeon. <laughs> when the alarm clock going to the soundboard. Um, I don't know. I'll have to download it, probably. Dungeon. So this is a scenario. This is a quest. <laughs> 99 nights. I'll just do the, you know, typical, the, the story dungeons. Oh, why is the camera so damn close? <laughs> What's this? Is this something I can do with Compa? Compa, are you able to use this? <laughs> can you grind in this game? Probably. My turn. <laughs> I can already see this ending. Um, so is this a bad idea? <laughs> this might be a bad idea. Ah! Oh well, we've taken damage already. Right? This guy looks this guy looks tanky. Okay, so we want to use earth bullets. Can you block this? Let's keep going. Like this guy isn't that tanky actually. Don't rely on weapons too much. You're wide open. Whoa! Damn. <laughs> 200. Bro, they had like 400 damage in one turn. Damn. All right, let's shoot it with earth bullets. Oh, you know what I still haven't done yet? I still haven't figured out how to put images on. Why is Nepu in a summer outfit? Because, uh, free DLC. <laughs> bat. Is the bat weak to fire? Alright. I mean, plus it's funny just having Nep wield a gun. <laughs> The quick kick. Ha! Yes! This'll sting. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Don't rely 
rely on weapons too much. There we go. But there's more. There's more enemies. Oh yeah, right. I think I remember the gimmick of this. If you defeat all of the enemies in the room, um, or in this battle, rather, enemies stop showing up for a while. And then I can do another disc. Alright, come on, tank it. Thankfully, we haven't taken too much damage, so it's okay. Alright, I'm going to slap the dragon. Here I come. <laughs> Here I come. Shoot. Bang. Go. Yeah, there's, there's still more. There's some bats. We can probably kill the bats before the battle's over, though. My sleeves are too long. How about this? See? Oh, but the bats are really annoying because they keep like dodging my shit. Don't rely on weapons too much. Please work. I'll do my best. At least Nep Nep can do it. Nep Nep can probably kill them. There we go. <laughs> Slap that bat. Damn it, it missed. <laughs> God damn it. What was the comment? It was like circle, triangle, triangle or something? I don't remember. No, I forgot the combo. <laughs> Right, you got you get one attack bat. You happy? I don't like getting hurt. Well, when I say when I say one hit, he actually gets two that hits. Was close. Oh good, netball kicked in. Thank God. <laughs> Compa missing the bitch slap. That's also shitty. <laughs> yeah, this is like a re this is like an ambush basically, except it's me initiating the ambush. If that makes sense. This is a shame if these guns suck so much in this game. Although, for the record, guns don't ever show up after this game. More bats. Okay. Well, I'd prefer to kill this bat first. Th I think this game this this game it really it actually really matters like which enemy you target. Like if you target the wrong enemy, it's gonna make the battle a lot harder. Okay, there we go. Take it home. Don't rely on weapons too much. Oh, I don't get to I don't get to follow up with another attack, do I? Perfect. There you go. And then and then Kampa should be able to finish it off. Come here. Time for a shot. Wow, she missed all of those hits. Yeah, there. What's up the camera angle? Why does it do like an overhead view? <laughs> this will be powerful. This will hurt. There. <laughs> See, now we have all the t time in the world to kill this enemy. Here I come. Give up. Just faster. Yeah. Go. Boom. Yeah, kick the shit out of that bat. <laughs> yeah. This will work. Think I was just a melee character? Bang. This isn't a normal bullet. <laughs> if you're just shooting bullets at the bats. <laughs> Don't think okay. can handle that. Alright, we're done. Boom, my level went up. We got more skills. I'll have a look after battle, because I almost forgot. What level are we actually now? 
Um, level five, level five. Okay, they were all level five. Okay. Does the formation matter? No, it doesn't matter, because we don't have any other party members. At least not yet. Okay. I think, honestly, though... <laughs> if he is, fr is from Melee... <laughs> I'm just a melee. Don't think I'm just a melee character. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, I was gonna look at the combos that I have. So antidote. Um, I could have, I could have this happen more often. I mean, I could have a ten percent chance to cure poison. <laughs> yeah. I think it's gonna get- I think this game's actually gonna get a little easier as time goes on, because we're gonna get more skill points. So, our heals will activate more often. And then, you have Cure Potion F. 15% or less. Hmm, you know what, actually? I could just- have her wait how much does this cost 20 and 15 i don't actually have that many yet like i think we'll start using these potions later in the game when we have more like items and stuff and it's cheaper to buy shit cures poison and restores 10 percent of everyone's hp that's not bad either like i'll start worrying about that stuff when i can actually afford items because right now i don't have a lot so now that we've, um, done that battle, uh, yeah, encounters wear off for a little while. For the record, when is, um... I hope we'll find something nice. The treasure is that way? Where's the map? So the treasure is, like, near the end of the dungeon, I think. That's good. That's good that I turn encounters off, though. You just do a shit ton of battles early on, and you just don't have to worry about encounters for, like, half the dungeon. That's really good. Okay, just to make sure. There's nothing over... Oh, there's a chest over there. I guess I'll go for it. Why is the chest, like, sideways? <laughs> Obtain treasure. Yay! We don't really need to do this, so I'm going to ignore that. I gotta level up on Iffy, and that's what matters. I hope we'll find something nice. That's just the treasures that way. See, yeah, it's further in the dungeon. Okay, real quick, I'm just gonna I'm gonna save scum this real quick because this could be a dead end. If there's nothing at the end, if there's nothing at the end of this hallway, I'm reloading. <laughs> Cause I want this to be worth it, you know. Oh yeah, there is a chest here. It's very basic dungeon crawling, but that's okay, honestly. I don't mind. So I don't know if it's just me, but I really like inverted cameras in dungeon crawling like this. Okay, now, now I can probably use Compass ability again. Uh, I think I have to stand in, the, like, in the exact middle. Oh, do I have to wait for the encounters to wear off? The enemies are back. Okay, now I can do it, right? Ready for a battle? Everyone, get ready. I kind of like this, honestly. I kind of prefer this to, um... I, I prefer this to doing, like, random encounters. I'd rather do, like, a bunch of scripted encounters at once instead, if that makes sense. And also, I don't think I'm killing that bat in one turn. Well, I'd rather kill this guy first. Can you block this? Let's keep going. Get ready. Get ready. Well, that's good. I also think I gotta mess around with my skills a bit, too. 
<laughs> Ow. What does that do? Like 27 damage? Oh, item time. Yeah, so like Nep Neptune is gonna like consistently cast Nepple now, which is good. It means I don't have to worry too much. So I actually think this game's gonna get easier as time goes on, which is good. I'll do my best. Yeah, the, the, the combos are getting better. That's like I, th I think that's pretty satisfying, honestly. No Dual edge. Bang. And I can transform into purple heart after. Damn, look at her wings. The power of medicine is immeasurable. Thank you for healing, Kampa. <laughs> See, the only reason why I kept dying... Oh, thanks, 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 Iffy. The only reason I kept dying is because their heals just didn't activate enough. Because you don't get a lot of points to start out with in the game. But now that I have more points to spend it on, I can just constantly heal myself up. Which is good. <laughs> Get ready. Don't rely on weapons too much. I'll get him. I'll get him. There we go. You here I come. This sword will. Damn, hardcore. Perfect. To bang, just shoot. This sword will need this. Oh, I need like one more AP. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. I again, I'll say it again. I actually really like this battle system because it's really reminding me of what Rebirth One and Two did so well. Because, well, I guess and Rebirth Three as well. It's it's not like um, I think V Two shook it up a little bit, if I remember correctly. But, like, you get a certain number of points per turn, and then you just attack. That's it. The only difference with Rebirth 1 is that you can't freely move around in this one. You're just doing your actions, which is honestly okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Purple Heart's doing the Engage Swordmaster pose. <laughs> wow, that's very specific. He gets one attack off. Till two attacks off. Think I was just a melee character? <laughs> just a melee character? What am I gonna call it? If he's from melee or something? You know what? I will. I will write that down because that sounds really funny. <laughs> I won't hesitate to use more. Oh, she's using her thing. Just a melee character? <laughs> well, they're both healing right now. <laughs> Why are these bats attacking so damn much? I, I, I look away for like one second and these bats are like kicking my ass. Take it home. Don't rely on weapons too much. I think the combo the combo link system is pretty good, honestly. Too slow. Eat this. I got this one. Yeah. Plus Neptune gets a shit ton of AP compared to the other characters. I got this one. At least right now she does. The, the fact that the option to be able to continue your combo is also interesting because it means you can like do some other moves like um 
you could do a combo link or you could switch or something if you really want to. Which I also think is kind of cool. Can you block this? Let's keep going. Uh, he's gonna get like. Don't like to hurt. Hurt. He's gonna. He's gonna get an attack off. Yay! Compa healed again. <laughs> Eat this. Yeah, I got this one. Yeah, the physics are the physicals are just too good, honestly. Yay! We won. Level up. I got third shot. I'm stronger. Oh, they both leveled up. Good. I should have a look at my skills. Look at all and look at all this stuff I'm getting too. Boss conquest. Here, I'll save again. You save after like every big battle. Um, so I have combo skills now, huh? Triangle, circle, circle, triangle. <laughs> What's third shot? It's a magic attack. Hmm. I can also do an Earth RW disc. Can combo link. So what if I put it that what if I put that at the end then? So this is gonna cost 57 AP in total. <laughs> Jumping arts. Man, yeah, there's a bunch of different combos I can do, which is good. Yeah, so now the encounters are gone for a while. I wonder if there are any other abilities I can activate. Oh yeah, right. Ready to go treasure hunting? The treasure is back that way? Wait, really? Hold up. Is it like right here? I wonder what kind of items are here. Oh, there it is. This better be worth it. It's a mimic? Psych. <laughs> Psych? Medical drug? Hey, that's good. How much is how much of an increase is that? It's like 50. All-purpose medicine used in various medical situations. Overdosing is bad news. Hey, it means a 50 attack increase for Compa. I honestly wish we could add sounds in this game. What do you mean, add sounds? <laughs> like, add my own custom sound effects or something? Anyways, I believe that is it. Yeah, okay, so there's no more treasure. I think there's like one treasure per dungeon, which is fine with me. And I think we won't have to worry about encounters until the boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How would that even work? PS3 games are very hard to mod, which is kind of a shame. <laughs> I love the boss music in this game, too. It's great. Alright, you have any weaknesses? This music's so good, dude. You're wide open. Get ready. Ooh, I actually did some damage. How can Come on, Effie, we need you to heal. Really? She didn't heal? Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. All my AP up there. Alright, so I think it's triangle. And I just keep doing circle. Oh, damn. 
That's a good ass move. The Lindworm. <laughs> All right. Oh, his guard is down. Just keep spamming. Let's keep going. He's fucking dead already. He got like two attacks. <laughs> that was it. Special drink C. It's like a more serious version of Splash, which I really like. Muscle relaxant. Oh, hey, Purple it's so Heart. Detailed. <laughs> so detailed, I can't decide on a place to start searching first. It may be helpful for tourists, but this map tells us nothing of the nearby monster's strength. Here, let me bump up my mic a bit. We need info to narrow the locations down. Let's go back to the Basilicom, but stay in that form, okay? It was our problem with Neptune being untransformed or something. Yeah, if Nep Nep looks all tough, they won't turn us away as if we were helpless girls. Oh, big brain. Because because Neptune looks more powerful in Purple Heart. Well, she is more powerful as Purple Heart. I don't know why I'm saying that. Duh. <laughs> so that went really that dungeon went really well actually i'm still on hard mode right yeah okay so i figured out what hard mode is hard mode literally all it does is it makes you do more damage and it makes enemies do more damage the only difference between hard and normal is since enemies deal less damage on normal you have a higher chance of activating heals. That's the only difference. As far as I know, it's actually best to have the game on hard because it means the battles go by quicker. So you never want to play on easy or normal, otherwise battles just take forever and you never get anything done. So, yeah. And I'm gonna be checking the shop around there because look at that, we got some good ass equipment. We have anti-fire ring, anti-water ring, Anti-wind ring. They're pretty pricey, too. I might buy them for Compa and Iffy. Buy one of these? I'll buy one of these. And I gotta sell my old stuff. Actually, can I... S Wait, you can't sell your old shit, can you? Wait, really? You, can you not sell stuff in this game? <laughs> I didn't think about that, but yeah, it doesn't look like I can actually sell stuff. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, let's give her the anti-wind ring, because that's a pretty big increase in defense. And I think Compa and Iffy could definitely use it. There we go. Yeah, it'll give me wind resistance. Hard mode is just a harder version of easier. Easier mode than the other two. Pretty much. It Hard mode is just a damage multiplier. That's what each of the le difficulty levels are. So, like, normal mode is, like, you know, 100% damage. Hard is, like, 150% damage. And easy is, like, 50% damage. But since everybody... Since the multiplier applies to everybody... It just it's just a speed toggle in really in reality. So you're going to take more damage faster, but you're going to kill the bosses faster. So it doesn't really change anything. <laughs> like if hard mode actually made the enemies do more damage and your damage stayed the same, then that would actually be a true hard mode. <laughs> Or hell, they could even go the Devil May Cry route and make you do less damage and make the enemies do more damage. <laughs> and also, let me look at that new that new skill that I got. I got Muscle Relaxant. Here's Paralysis and restores 10% of everyone's HP. 
I mean, I'm just gonna put more into cure into green grass. Oh yeah, she got 80 now. So special drink. Um, so it's basically just a better first aid. Good. Okay. We'll start. Um. I don't think we'll need to start using this stuff until I have more items and more points to put it into. That makes no sense. It should be the other way around. <laughs> what? You, uh, you taking more damage and enemies, um, taking less damage? Did I fuck up? Did I say the wrong thing? <laughs> I think I did. Oops. Also, I never found out what Octomania is. It's a fire spell. Huh. That's pretty good. Well, actually, I don't know why I'm doing that, because Kampa's triangle moves suck. I should be doing uh, her X moves. Um, we'll do um, XX circle. We'll have her do Octomania there. It could have her aim. Virtually fighting. Nice achievement. <laughs> I think that's good, though. We, we got good equipment now. And is it worth buying any of this stuff? I mean, not like I can really buy much of it anyways. I buy, like, one of each of these, and then I'm broke. Sucks that you can't sell shit in this game. And it's also just flat out weird. Silicon Revolution. That's on last. I have to go to last station for that. Beasts Forest. The sanctified. We got reports about an irregular Gyuki infestation. We need to take care of those violent monsters before they cause any damage. Can you help take down five of them? Is that something I could do? I mean, I think I'm level seven. I think, that, I think the bird, is that still the same? Is there anything I can do now? I think I have to... These are all quests. <laughs> Isn't this the one that mean, needs to be five, level 500? That's a quest. These are all quests. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing here? Am I supposed to go to, um... Am I supposed to go to Last Station now? Hmm. I'm so confused. <laughs> These are all Louis, Last Station, and Planet Tune. Hmm. Maybe I'm not supposed to be in Lean Box right now. So what's the tomes? Oh, Hi-Fi Radio? Oh. Events? Hmm. Oh, got <laughs> compiling shaders, apparently. I might have to go back to Planet Tune, then. Or I could, um, wait for Last Station to come? Wait for Approach. Explore. Last Station incoming. Already approaching. So can I go to Last Station? Road to Last Station, yeah. There we go. Alright, we're in the last station cave now. Wait, did I run out of saves? I think I ran out of save files. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna start overriding saves already. Is 
Is there anything in this dungeon? I think I don't think there's typically treasure in these dungeons, though. Well, there's a chest down there. Let's go. Good ass music. Oh god, the hornets are back. They're not gonna do as much damage now, though. Can I kill this bat? Well, I also have wind bullets now. This isn't a normal boat. Think I was just a melee character? This will work. I think the owl does the same amount of damage. My sleeves are too long. Can I? I don't think I'm killing this You're bat in one turn. You're wide open. You're wide open. My sleeves are too long. Bang. We'll be fine, though. I can tank it. Yeah, Kampa's guns just do way more. Don't run away. Bang, bang. Oh, and I can do Octomania. Let's see, how, let's see what this looks like. Giant fire pillars. Some truly riveting fire effects there. And that was Octomania. <laughs> now I need to kill the Hornet before it attacks. Oh, I'm out of shit. Medical drug. All right, Nep Nep's time to take out the Hornet. Give up. Chop -chop. Ha! Ha! Third shot. Oh shit! <laughs> that was good. Target locked. And just one extra gun for a good measure. matters what I, I don't know what the bats we you know i think the bats might be weak to ice or something but i don't have ice bullets yet <laughs> who let compa cook <laughs> yeah quite literally did like 900 damage that's pretty damn good did you see me i was awesome Ooh, i'm gonna level up anti-paralyze Yeah, those, those probably aren't as good because statuses are so situational. Hold on, let me, let me get down there. Not bad. More reflexes, those are always good to see. See, I might not have a lot of money for, like, items because I'm always buying new upgrades, you know? For a situation like this. Oh boy. Well, I'm poisoned now. Mm. Both of these bats are gonna attack me next turn. Probably be, uh. What would be the best enemy kill first? Probably this one, right? Yeah, this hornet is a problem. How about this? Get ready. I never let my prey go. How about this? <laughs> yeah, I'm still not killing this damn hornet in one turn. <laughs> okay, that, that poison is kind of rough. Oh this shit. 
Thank God she's got green grass. Oh my God. <laughs> Medical drug. Oh, I lived, damn it. Alright, next up is this guy, this hornet. There's two hornets in the battle. No wonder I'm poisoned. Now I hope Neptune can kill. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Target locked. That is never yeah. not gonna be funny to me, just Neptune with a gun. Aim for that. <laughs> Chest Damn. If he's got 70 AP now, guys. I'm sure the poison wears off after battle anyway. Me up. 70 experience for that, by the way. Ooh, look at all these goodies. I like how all these items eventually became just like actual healing items in the second game and onward. Yay, more detoxins. And it tells us what items we have. <laughs> Bolsters the body's healing, heightens metabolism, breaks down foreign chemicals, intensifies the power of other liquids, and provokes chemical reactions with mixed with other liquids. So there's no way to sell stuff. That's kind of weird. Wait, what's the hell? Oh, the guild's watch. I forgot. I was like, what the hell is the guild watch? Oh, yeah, right, I have the Hibiscan on Neptune, which kind of is cheating, but whatever. We have all these key items. The Tin Can Badge. Fantasy Zone. Yep, I, I just kind of have that. Purple. You just gotta, just gotta make it to the exit, that's it. That's all you're here for. This is pretty good. More detoxins. I'm just gonna go to the exit, I don't wanna deal with that. The problem is that the enemies are so damn fucking fast that they outspeed me, dude. Like, this hornet's gonna attack twice. At least we get the first turn, though. Let's keep going. Get ready. I never let my prey go. Yeah, just keep doing. Just keep doing RW disc. Enjoy. Yep, it's is he's dead. I'm gonna get rid of the hornet first, though, because I don't like hornets. <laughs> Sniping! Alright, thankfully the hornet's dead, so we're not gonna eat shit. Oh no. Yep, just, just heal up. Like, I have RW disc on both of them. Like, why? Why do I have it like that? Uh, Alright, we're done. Next one is... We won, we won, we won! Ooh, more goodies. 
Alright, I'm leaving. I'm going to the last station now. Because I'm assuming that's where I need to go next. Last station has some pretty good music, though. It's got like the I love it's got this steampunk vibe to it that I love. God damn, Last Station's music is way more fire than I remember. Land of Black Regality. <laughs> Damn, they were, they, he was, they were cooking, they were cooking when they made this song. Let's go over the Blackheart blog. <laughs> so now, um, Blackheart has a blog. I mean, I wouldn't mind. The blog's not even there. Um, Snowy Land. So we gotta go to Louis at some point as well. Level 700, yep, yeah, definitely not doing that. I guess Whiteheart blog will be next, right? Level 600, yeah, fuck all that. Alright, Basilicom Revolution. The party arrives in last station heads to Basilicom obtain information on powerful monster locations. Are we just supposed to go to each, like, place once, maybe? Oh, 18 times? Yeah, last station is pretty damn cool. Last station, ruled by the console patron unit Blackheart. The land is mostly obscured by industrial factories. So, um, does the theme of each landmass match with that goddess's preference? I don't think so. The CPUs are here to protect us, but humans develop the civilization itself. So maybe they're not developed equally. I don't know. thoughts on this place these factories and chimneys remind me of an industrial revolution i'm not familiar with this kind of thing <laughs> yeah because compa grew up in a uh, planet tune i suppose it's not appealing to mainstream girls i think it's cool anyway let's go to the basilica <laughs> yeah if he's got hey he's got good taste anyways another basilicom information on monsters may i come in monsters what are you going to do with this information oh yes my favorite character moderator key fragment we must defeat a strong monster to get one defeat monsters don't be so foolish even the lestation defense force doesn't stand a chance against them well they don't have the right equipment i guess <laughs> if he was neptune confirmed <laughs> you're nothing more than children Go home. God damn it. You, you shouldn't judge us by our appearances. We defeated lots and lots of monsters already. Nep Nep here can transform and become really super strong. We'll show you. Transform? What are you rambling about? If you want to play magical girls, go elsewhere. <laughs> You're a distraction. <laughs> That's a good line. <laughs> this Basilicom is a bit arrogant. Shows what kind of leader Blackheart is when you meet the people who serve her. We're not like those who suck up to Blackheart. I don't care what people say, but don't confuse us for them. You brats better scram already, or I'm going to have to hurt you. Damn. <laughs> oh, have you seen our stats? We're probably <laughs> way stronger than you. Yeah, you tell him, Neptune. Don't bring that up to an NPC. Let's just come back later. We can't waste time. Wow, if he really just called him an NPC, savage. <laughs> what should we do now? We couldn't even get inside the Basilicom. He didn't have to be such a party pooper. I guess people are different everywhere. 
sometimes the world is cruel. And they love they love playing the planet tune theme. <laughs> Did you hear the way he was talking? He really crossed the line talking about their CPU like that. Hmm. Maybe we should ask around about monsters in town. Good idea. Yeah, you could do that. It may take longer. Well, we just got here and we don't know much about the station yet. This is just the beginning. Let's take our time, explore, and learn. I hope I don't run out of things to do in Last Station. Irrelevant name since bro's an NPC. This music's so fucking good, dude. Um, the current last station. So you guys liking the music here? It's pretty damn good. Anyways, the party decides to collect information while taking miscellaneous bounty jobs. They learn of a small factory suffering from monster attacks. <laughs> oh, she saw us. She's waving at us. She's got to be the right person. Who? I suppose she's come to the same conclusion about us. So it's you girls? You're going to fight the monsters? Oh. Party? Are you sure you'll be okay? We all know not to judge books by their covers, right? Nice to meet you. I'm IF. This is Kampa, and that's Neptune. My name's Shion. I run a small factory called Passe in the central city. So she actually has a, um... She actually has a proper sprite in the remake. Well, every NPC does. And she's got, she's got like, goggles and, like, blue hair. It's kind of interesting. We need someone to get rid of the monsters attacking our carriages and train. You ladies sure you can handle it? And also, fun fact, she's voiced by Michelle Ruff, a.k.a. Uh, the voice actress of Yukari in um, Persona 3. You betcha. We know how to fight, so we'll totally be victorious. I like you. That confidence makes it much easier for me to trust your words. She's also the VA of Nisa, who we haven't seen yet, but she's in this game too. And also one of the few Neptunia exclusive characters, because after Neptunia Mark II, Nisa doesn't show up ever again. Which is stupid. And that's because, uh, Nisa is based on Nippon Ichi, which worked on this game. And they stopped working with Compile Heart and Idea Factory after the second game, because they kind of had a falling out. And that's why Nisa's not allowed to be in any other Neptunia games. So, it is a shame, but it's just kind of how it is. And that's a, one of the reasons why I wanted to come back to this game, because I wanted to see how Nippon Ichi handled, you know, these Neptunia games. And also Gust Software, too. They also worked on this game. Which is kind of why the budget and, like, per, like, well, how do I say it? The presentation of this game is, like, kind of different from modern Neptunia. Not that it's a bad thing or, you know, a good thing. It's just different. I like which I like. So can we explore anywhere? Or search, rather? Yeah, Windy Wasteland. The request is to defeat five cockatrices. Are they those big bird dudes? I don't know, but I need to save first. Let's go. New dungeon. And it's just a copy and paste of the last dungeon. Oh, there's actually like a... It's actually keeping track of how many enemies you've killed. Nice. I wonder what kind of items are here. Okay, so... We gotta figure out where the treasure is. I mean, I'm gonna be exploring anyway, so... 
Might as well. More reflexes. And there was two more free heals. Don't underestimate my syringe, or you'll be sorry. Those aren't cockatrices. Those are hornets, bro. Not cool, man. Mmm. It doesn't really matter which hornet I kill. Well, that's not good. Oh, but I don't have enough for Octomania. <laughs> Damn it. Just keep aiming at the enemy. There you go. Remember me as a wind on game and just level up. <laughs> oh, okay. If he just interrupted her own sentence, it, it as a wit, a level up. <laughs> you don't really get a lot of credits for that, do you? Those damn hornets are so lame. They don't even give me much moon me. So, well, hello. Where are the cockatrices at? Where can I find them? Ready to go treasure hunting? Ah, uh, it's over there. Okay. So am I, am I just gonna have to go around hunting for those bastards? I'm a break it. <laughs> that's still so funny. Fine, let's do this. Hey, there! I think that's one of them. Yep, they look a little. Uh, it's just a chicken man, chicken monster. Yeah, I love that. I love that if he's able to outspeed all of the enemies. This isn't a normal bullet. This will work. Uh, as expected, the fire does the most damage. <laughs> How about this? You're wide open. I'll get him. Get ready. Ooh, I have just enough I for a combo link to too. Go. Nice. Kaka. Oh, he has he does a lot of damage. Low tension? Um, here it is. What the fuck is low tension? I don't know, that doesn't sound good though. Just yeah, quick kick. Sniping. Ha! Just well, it doesn't matter, he's dead now. The, the MVP award. Oh, there's something very satisfying about um picking up shit after battle. I wonder what kind of items are here. Oh, okay, okay, we see it. We see where it is. Just gotta wait for it to refill. Do I have to kill five of those bastards? Treasure hunting. Unless there's like, I don't know, maybe like three freebies at the end of the dungeon or something. I found something. Studded bracelet. That could probably be good for Neptune, right? Well, hang on. Everybody has about the same amount of defense. I think Kampa has the least amount, but... I don't think the studded bracelet is as good as the anti-wind ring. Mmm... No. I think I'll give it to Neptune then. Because that is better in every way. I still have the hunting sword, which is pretty good. And actually, I'll also save. Find the key fragments. Yeah, we're, still we're still trying to find those. I think I just need to go to the end of the dungeon or something to find them. Coming from above. Watch out. Okay, there we go. There's another one. I'm gonna try and kill the cockatrice first though, because it's a threat. This is a bone. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, we need to kill this guy fast. Ooh, that definitely killed it. I can just say no to the transformation if I really want. But then that's that also wastes time, so... <laughs> yeah. So that's two out of five now. Yay, more stuff to pick up. So is there something in here, or is this just like a room to farm enemies? See now, see the problem is now the dungeon is over. The dungeon is too small, and now I just have to get random encounters to beat the quest. <laughs> that's the only way I'm beating the quest now. So that's kind of a, uh, kind of a whatever, oops, hold on, got to have the right bullet. Uh, um, next one is... <laughs> and he's dead. We did it! A complete victory! Hey man, at least I get more items, I will complain about that. Can I do anything else with my item skills? Oh yeah, see Neptune now now Neptune has 110 points. Uh cures poison, cures paralysis. Uh we'll make it a 90%. Because I think 90% is good. So when Neptune defends, she can use Nep EX Nepable. Which is good. So now I'm just going to be running around like an idiot, trying to get encounters. All right, let's fight. I got really confused when there wasn't a cockatrice in the first battle, though. Also, I think we have just enough speed that now we can outspeed it, too. Kind of nice. This is a yep, there you go. Forgot to switch again. More and more. That was easy. Does the does the dungeon just end when you kill five of them? I'm assuming it does. Yeah, I mean this is <laughs> this is what I'm doing now. Fine, let's do this. Not a very riveting quest, I'll say, but whatever. I <laughs> yep, and he's dead. I think I can keep going. That's the whole battle. Yeah. Yeah, it just ends. Okay. The monsters are so numerous here. Makes things that much more entertaining. Why why did she just randomly transform back into purple hearts? Nep Nep, you act so tough in that form. Why do you think there are so many monsters here? Don't ask me, but how could this be caused by the diminishing power of the CPUs? Do their powers even weaken? Well, their power comes from the faith of humanity. If monsters keep attacking people, their faith will be shaken. Meaning less protection, more monster attacks, less people, less faith. It's a downward spiral. Ah, so last station is just kind of in a shitty state, huh? That's a saint. So as more time passes, more monsters will appear. I, I didn't think of it that way, but it makes sense. What do we do? 
Don't worry, I'm here. Someone told me I'm the only one who can save the world. <laughs> only Neptune? Okay. I can save it. I'll prove it right now. She has the same strong sense of justice, but this Nep Nep is more dependable. I feel comfortable trusting her. I agree she's an improvement over her casual laid back attitude. <laughs> but am I the only one who can't stand her either way? <laughs> Received a thousand credits as a reward. Ooh, okay. I know we just started, but that's sort of dinky for a reward. Hey man, I'll get better. I heard business isn't going well because a major company called Avenir is monopolizing their industry. Oh god, not Avenir. I remember them. Jeez. I heard smaller factories are closing down due to Avenir, but I don't think that's the only reason. Monopolizing oh. is bad. Was that 19 right? times now, guys? That company is an evil conglomerate. Yes, I'm really keeping track of how many times they play the song. It's gonna be like a hundred by the time I beat the game. <laughs> Are you going to assault them if I agree with you? We can't just assume a company's bad because they're successful. I mean, I won't complain. It's a good song. But I can't ignore people are suffering because of them if i take down that company a lot of people would be happy <laughs> neptune goes from taking down monsters to gods to companies <laughs> i don't think take down is the right term we usually defer to the basilicon for these issues not violence we were told to leave there just recently how will we get the key fragment or stop avenir like this avenir aside It'd be bad if our traveling budget ran out because of this horrible economy. Let's keep moving to other land masses and think about what we can accomplish there. <laughs> Alright, um... Well, obviously I'm gonna save after that. Now I'm running out. Now, now I'm, it's hard keeping track of my saves now. Wait, I just thought of something. Is it possible to soft lock yourself if you get if you get like so low in health and you can't heal? <laughs> I never thought about that. Uh, so well, we already have the hunting sword, the code armlet. Oh, I could have bought that, but this is better than what I have right now. It's better than the, uh, anti-wind ring. Oh, but I'm gonna be broke if I buy that. Dang. I don't think it's worth it. Hmm. I got, I got lots of items now. I could probably, like, a few reflexes. But like, well, if I buy like one of these, that's pretty pricey, right? Can we not search? And there's still a Louis. Oh, Planet PR. I can update her, uh, her blog. Stray. Monster damage is being reported at Legislation Center. What sort of monster looks in the shadows now? Oh, 20 times, guys. Oh, this is, uh, not voiced? Yeah, I, I, I never really realized it, but, like, most of this game has been voiced so far, which is really weird, because most of the modern Neptunia games aren't, they don't have a lot of voiced lines, which is so weird, because this one has so many. Have you heard about the mysterious monsters appearing in Last Station? Ooh, are they tough? Super tough? What kind of monsters are they? I was told they attack in groups while making weird noises. And I think I heard a weird noise just now. Huh? Ah, don't try to scare us like that. I, I hear it too. It's coming from every direction. Are you surrounded? Is it an ambush? Everyone, get ready. We're not so ready for this. <laughs> rough, rough, rough. Huh? Arf? 
<laughs> There's a dog? They're canine model robots. Ugh. Aren't those the robotic pets popular a few years back? Huh? I never knew nothing about it. That explains a lot. These pet robots were abandoned by people after the trend died down. They're not threatening at all. Look at how they're wagging their tails and being all nice and stuff. <laughs> Whimper. <laughs> there, there. I know you're just lonely, Arf Arf. It's okay. Come over here to Mama Neptune. Seems the robot dogs have found their newest pack member. Oh, that was, that was just a gag cutscene. <laughs> probably, probably not voice because it's not an important cutscene. Road to lean box. Oh, that's about it. That's all I can do. Um, let's read about the the PR culture. Blackheart, last station CPU. I uh, good to see Noir again. Today I'm gonna focus on the education system of last station. Remember I said last station is sometimes called mechanic land? To surpass Planetune, our main focus with education is to raise engineers and technicians. Last station offers affordable technology courses, the most affordable on game industry. The students will soon become professionals and support Last Station's future-proof growth. I suggest you come to Last Station if your dream is to become an engineer. That's it. See you in the next update. Wow, I love it already. Man, they have, like, world building and shit. I don't think that's in the original... Or, I don't think that's in the remake, is it? I could be wrong, though. Let's switch it up today. Anyone thinking of moving to Last Station? Of course you are. I, Last Station CPU Blackheart, will tell you all about this land. People call Last Station the Land of Black Regality. You could also use words like Mechanic Land or Steampunk if you want. Not like I really care. <laughs> I don't care. We're still under intense development compared to Planetune, but that's why we keep producing new inventions every day. That's the gist of Last Station, which is sometimes also called the Dignified Blackland. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to call it that. <laughs> I don't know when I'll update this, but I'll write more about Last Station. Doesn't matter to me if you read it or not. <laughs> I love how I love how like Noir just writes blogs. He's like, yeah, you can read it, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Factory Pass. Xion from pa or Passe. Why did not why did I read it like that? He gathers the trio to her factory home to discuss an important matter. Wow. This is Xion's company. There you ladies are. It's nothing lavish, I know. It's just a small factory. Just a small factory? It looks pretty big to me, bro. Oh, we make everything from kitchenware to missiles. Come in. Let's get cozy before we talk. Up oh, 20 times. Hey, look! Where you like. This is my home. <laughs> hey, look, it's my old background. <laughs> my old background that I used to use for, like, intermissions and stuff. Cool! Dibs on the bar stool. It's so neat having a restaurant next to your office. You can drink whatever you want. Yeah, since it's my house. Having one business isn't enough for living expenses, so my mother helps me around here. I really did have to get two jobs at last station. There's just not enough work since Avenir was established. Wow. <laughs> it's like trying to get a house these days. You gotta have like three jobs to even afford a house. So Avenir is bad. Everyone in town, including you, is suffering because of them, right? <laughs> Angie Neptune. They're not just bad. They took all of our clients. They're monsters. Even the goddess and her basilicon just turn a blind eye and let them do whatever they want. Oh, okay, so we're in we're in agreement that they're shit. Gotcha. They'll eventually take over this entire landmass if we don't do anything about it. As I suspected, 
Lest Station won't find peace with Avenir around. We gotta defeat them! Yeah! What should we do? It's not gonna be as easy as it sounds. How do we defeat an entire company anyway? We won't go down easily. Plus, we've got the Technology Expo this year. Oh, hell yeah. What's that? Is it like a festival? Oh, you two have never been to Last Station, right? I'm sorry, but can you explain? Explaining a worldview or culture can't really be avoided in RPGs. Oh, it fourth wall break. Native, but bear with me. The expo takes place in Last Station every four years. Various companies showcase new technologies under a common theme. <laughs> what, is it like the election or something? It's like elections. It takes place every four years. It's for people to network, for exchange information and skills. The best item gets a trophy from Last Station CPU. A trophy? What an achievement! So, can we take down Avenir with a trophy? We'll aim for the goddess. We'll showcase at the expo, win, and meet with her for a negotiation. Wow. And you've got your work cut out for you. It'll be really tough. Sure. I need to begin making arrangements. I actually asked you here today to discuss just that. No, 21 times. <laughs> ha, it's not about money. We need to transfer tools and materials, but the monsters are still... We'd risk our lives for a single screw. I'm just warning you, but we'll probably be asking for your help more often. Ah, I getcha. You want us to make sure you don't get distracted by monsters while prepping for the expo. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. You're right. I'm glad you're such a quick little thinker. I'm counting on you. Neptune being so humble. How great. Alright. Um, is there anything else I can do? The infamous company. Xi'an informs the party about Last Station's questionable cooperation. Corporation. However, it seems Avenir is suffering from monster attacks like everyone else. Ooh, nice forest. So, why are we working for Avenir if we know they're totally evil? Idealism won't feed us. You'll never be an adult if you're always picky about food or work. There's our client. Mystery man. Hello, Mr. Sunge of Avenir. We're Kamba, Nepnep, and Ify. We've come to fight monsters. I don't have a choice. I need you to eliminate all the surrounding monsters while I inspect a plant by the city outskirts. I was not expecting him to sound like that. <laughs> don't let any run loose and cause damage to the facility. Get moving. his problem he must be underestimating us because of our looks how rude it's a yeah baka you around <laughs> iffy you're not one to talk when you're that short and without boobies <laughs> i forgot how funny that line is <laughs> all right that i'm sending that one that one's funny <laughs> Twenty-two times monsters no nope. i'm certain the rest ran away that's all for today Ooh, spooky music is back action is complete are you kids done too you sure you didn't miss any it's all good when i'm on the prowl we even took out the boss like one so yeah I betcha they'll stay away for a while <laughs> like a boss good However, if even one remains and it damages the facility, we will never conduct business with you again. Damn, okay. Th that's a bit harsh. Why can't you just repair the damage if that happens? Probably a loss of trust or something, I don't know. You have no idea, do you? Mere humans should never degrade machinery. Have you ever seen a human as detail-oriented or precise as a machine? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a machine. Yeah, I don't think we have any machine waifus in this game. 
Or any of the games, for that matter. Right. You're just an incompetent human. Who knows when you'll make a mistake? Being human is no excuse for errors. <laughs> Damn, okay. If humans are expected to make Sad mistakes, combo, no. I'd rather machines do the job from the very start. Keep that in mind. The next <laughs> Your expression keeps changing. Company. <laughs> she just kept getting more sad. What did I do to get yelled at? Did I really say something bad? Don't cry. Since 23 do times. Anything. That was pretty immature of him, yelling at three pretty girls like that. <laughs> Maybe he thought I was making fun of machines. But he's mocking humanity. Yeah, exactly. Wow, what a douche. <laughs> oh, do we have any dungeon? We don't have any dungeons yet, actually. Did the blog get updated? There's a lot of these, actually. How dare you noob goddess? <laughs> it's not fair that goddesses get the spotlight in this world. I'd like to challenge them for the title of main character. I will wait you in the dungeon created by the Dark God. Recommended level 8, okay. Level 100, level 70, 25. I'm not, like, doing most of these for a long time, if ever, because how the fuck am I supposed to get to, like, level 500, huh? Like, I don't even remember what level I am. I went to the sealed ruin with my pet, Pochi, and we were attacked by a stray dog. IF gets frustrated over her cell's bad reception. That's a that's gotta be a good cut scene, right? Ugh. Ugh, useless. If you are, you screaming at your cell phone. Oh, I was watching a TV show on it, but the connection got cut. Probably because I'm behind this ridiculously tall building. Maybe that happens to me every now and then too. Huh? Doesn't this building belong to that major game company? 24 times? Or is it 25? I'm losing, tra I'm losing track. I just started playing games, but I'm already a fan of these guys. Oh, you started playing? What kind of games are you enjoying the most? Well, I mean, I haven't played a lot, but I like those first-person action games. It's so hectic and boom and crazy. I end up being under a big rock all the time, though. If it's this company, I like the golfing game made for everybody. It's so fun. Voice crack. <laughs> Gaming is popular these days, I see. Well, it's a road everyone's got to take at some point. Ooh, that reminds me. What the heck? You can watch TV on your phone? <laughs> you got games on your phone? What era are you from again? Oh, I love these little gag cuts, dudes. They're great. Alright, anything else we can do here? Um, Soup Noodle. Blackheart's blog updated. <laughs> With what? What the fuck is Soup Noodle? <laughs> noodle soup and spaghetti tends to splash everywhere when I eat it. I've already stained my new designer clothes. Oh, boho. <laughs> But that's it? That's the whole- that was it? She bitched about her- her clothes getting dirty from soup? Wow, that's the best cutscene of all time. Okay. The Technology Expo. The restaurants become the party's hangout. As everyone gets excited about the Tech Expo, they hear some unbelievable news through a radio announcement. 25! Small, <laughs> confined rooms, the smell of food baked into the walls. I think this will be like my last cutscene then before I uh, go make dinner and then potentially play Terraria later, but I'm having fun again. <laughs> Shut up. Did you meet Sanj? What did you think? Isn't he horrible? Yeah, he was a douche. Yeah. He made Kampa cry with his machinery lecture. He's a total creepazoid. Yeah, how dare you make Kampa cry? Terrible. Yeah, I expected as much. He's entirely against manual labor. 
You've met him before? Naturally. He represents that whole company. He's also one of my old school's alumnus. I saw him when he came to lecture a class. I bet he just prattled on about how precise machines are and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, he did. With that ominous, gruff voice. He doesn't approve of any technician skills or pride. I despise him. But that's not the only reason. But enough of that. Let's talk about getting you girls another job. Oh I yeah. Go to the next town and get some materials from Shever. Here, it's the map to his shop. Brought we're going. We're going to another place. Information from the Basilicom. After discussions amongst the Basilicom representatives, the Tech Expo has been canceled this year. What? Oh fuck! Wait a sec. Oh no. The sanctuary announced this is due to a decreased number of exhibitors. However, the civil committee speculates that the parliament may have pressured the sanctuary into the cancellation of this traditional event. Dude, it's like E3 getting canceled. Oh shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We can't afford to wait four more years. By then, all the factories will be long gone. Whoa, Xion, calm down. This was probably the last chance my factory had. Oh shit, and I kind of want to see more. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, anti work? Oh, that's more, uh, more shit I could do. Sore throat? What are you sick? You sick, Noir? <clears throat> I seem to have used up my voice. My throat is so sore, but I don't want any pity comments or anything. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks, Noir. Great, great, uh, great cutscenes we have here. A child's gone lost in a dungeon. The crew heads out to save the child, but something seems to be bothering Iffy. Is there a phone again? Oh no! What should we do about the job we accepted from Miss Xi'an? We already have the map. Yeah, this background. <laughs> Just give her some time alone. We'll come back later. Anyway. This is like some Windows XP shit right here. <laughs> 26. A single clue regarding the key fragment. Why would you take a job about a lost child on top of this? We'll never save the world if we don't save its people. My grandpa said, you must learn to walk before you can run. Oh, uh, there's your grandpa again. <laughs> the game really loves this thing, I know, right? Like, I, again, I'm not complaining because it, it's a good song, but it's so overused. The mom looked worried. There are so many nasty creatures outside of town. Her child will be eaten if we don't hurry. So what? Babies get eaten all the time. It's survival of the fittest. I'll leave you behind if you keep dilly-dallying. Well, damn, Iffy, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> A pooper scooper. I'll buy you some lollipops later. <laughs> this is kid look like. The mom said her slash his body is just an NPC silhouette. So she slash he should be pretty easy to spot. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, I see. That that line of dialogue is definitely not in the remake, I can tell you that. <laughs> because they actually gave all the NPCs, like, actual portraits. <laughs> the fuck you mean babies get eaten? Okay, so that- so we're supposed to go to, um, the cave next. Is there anything else I can do before I go there? Um... I think that's it, yeah. Hey, by the way, Zeppi, did you see the cutscene about the Noir complaining about soup? <laughs> Do you want to see that before I end the episode? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much ready to go have dinner. Yeah, sure, you know, I'll, I'll, this is the best cutscene ever. Check this shit out. Noodle soup and spaghetti tends to splash everywhere when I eat it. I've already stained my new designer clothes. And that's the whole cutscene. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole cutscene. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. She just bitches about getting spaghetti on her clothes. I agree with Noir. 
Uh. So as far as I know, there's nothing else I can buy. Cat. It's too bad I can't preview this shit before I buy it. I would love to buy all this stuff, but I can't afford it. Hmm. Also, I just realized the top left, it says Amazoo.nep. <laughs> Fast delivery guaranteed. I wonder if that's a real website. You know what? You know what? Let me go to Amazoo.nep. <laughs> See results closer to you. <laughs> Thanks. I look up Amazoo.net and the first thing that I that pops up is parodies and references slash hyperdimension dot Neptunia. Great. Amazon.com Nep. Online shopping from a great selection at Nep store. <laughs> what? <laughs> so no guys, sadly Amazoo.nep is not a real store. Dang. I wish I could go there. Oh well, that's too bad. Uh, is there anything we can look at the, in the gallery before I end the episode? Um, no, it's just, it's just Ow. Ow is the only thing we can look at. I don't think this is updated at all, this episode. I wonder what these four things are. Purple progress, green pastures, black reality, and white serenity. Well, uh, you guys want some jiggle before I, I end the episode? Boom. I know, great, right? Great, 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 great gameplay. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, next time we play Neptunia, we will go into the dungeon. Kamba has boobs? <laughs> yes, yes, she does. So yeah, we'll go into that dungeon next time, and then, uh, progress with the Expo storyline, I guess? I kind of forgot about this whole Expo storyline, but eh, it's fun, I'd say. Crazy. Yeah. Can't wait to unlock High Five Radio. <laughs> Home chapters. You can also look at the bestiary and see all the enemies. Yeah, you can, I like it when they have beastie areas like this. Oh yeah, and this guy. I don't know if this guy is ever going to show up again. This this Fire Emblem-looking guy. I'm not going to lie, though. I really... The enemy design in this game is kind of cool. Like, you, sure, you have your typical enemies like Dogoos and Vaders and stuff. And then you have shit like this fucking guy. <laughs> the, this guy who's, like, never shown up in any other game. I'm pretty sure he's only in this game. Which is weird. They'd rather bring him back all these old-ass enemies in the modern Neptunias. Which is it's literally right there. You could have a bit more enemy variety, but I guess not. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go make some food, and then I'm gonna go see if Desmond wants to play Neptunia. Or not. <laughs> yeah, Desmond's gonna play Neptunia with me. No, I'm gonna see if he's gonna play Terraria with me later tonight. And uh, that could be fun. I'll, I'll, I'll see, though. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And um, I'll probably play more of this tomorrow. I mean, I'm planning to go get, like, a donut from Timmy's in the morning. But once I come back, I'm probably going to boot this up and play more of it in the morning. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then. Alright, take care.